Jeff is amazing. Jeff is like he gets right. more and more sarcastic with them. Yeah. <laughs> like, I love him. I don't drink wine, but they say wine is better with age. Jeff Probst is the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Jeff Probst is like fine wine. <laughs> <laughs> well, did he marry one of the contestants, or was he dating one of the He was dating one of them. He dated one of them. Your favorite season is the very first season. Oh, that's your favorite. Uh, Survivor. Better luck with you. No, no, no. He was dating her favorite season. He's got a show. I know too much about this show. Yeah. We were here with you. Perhaps this can be in our conversation about Survivor. Unless you have much more to say about it. I did a movie, Mark Paul Gossler. Zach Morris. Right? Okay. Epic Western. Crabacular adventure uh, back in 1990 something. At the time, we became fairly close uh, to the month we were working. White visited a couple of times. And they have since separated. Lovely woman is now married to John Jackson. Really? So, That's yeah. a great like, segue. <laughs> two of my two favorite shows somehow combined <laughs> together. That's a great headline. Jeff Probst here. In a marriage, no less. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to open that relationship and it totally crashed and burned. That's great. Two heroes. Two heroes. Same, yeah. same lifestyle. Well, it's and well, let's actually talk some real questions. What's your favorite movie of all time? Call me, Donald. I hate asking favorite questions. <laughs> What's your favorite movie of all time? What kind of movie do you like? Take the pressure off. Give me some leeway. Seven? Yeah. I think I've seen it. I, I don't even know how many, lost count, how many times I've watched it. Always good. Yeah. And it's one of those things that, like, every part of the movie is good. There's yeah. never, like, oh, it's last for it. Every part of the movie. He's in the box. <laughs> that was a bad impression. In the box. No, I was right there. Yeah, you got what I was saying. Um, well, I was asking some of the people tonight, um, what's the movie that when they put it on, you got to change the channel? I hate this movie. And it can be Red Eye, which has Colby Donaldson's in it. That's right. That's right. Yeah. You know that. Like, Bobby's just, you know. It's a West Craven movie with uh, Rachel McAdams. I see. Red Eye. Yeah. It's what's that about? Uh, Sylvia Murphy meets uh, Rachel McAdams. It's kind of in his own real eyes. Yeah. And he's like a good man. Like, unless it's just... Oh, I saw that movie. Yeah, he's a uh, secret uh, service like, guy on the plane. For like, uh, yeah. Oh, wow. I probably just didn't have the beard. Yeah, you got a suit of a mirror and you're like, I always sort of picture him acting in movies, sort of like with a self conscious <laughs> smile on it. Like, <laughs> Should I go Jerry? Camera, yeah? Looking into the camera. <laughs> Jerry Manthes. <laughs> um, yeah, no, so. The movie. <laughs> What's the movie that you're like, oh, yeah. You did, you got, I got you to this off. Mine is Steel Magnolias. I know I've got good ones. No, because, oh, War of the Roses? It's just too hard to watch. It's just too hard to Do you think it's a bad movie? No. There's a lot of movies you can watch once yes. that are fantastic, and then you never want to revisit it again. <laughs> yeah, Boys Don't Cry was like that. Right? Yeah, that's actually a good one for that. What was the one, uh, the guy has lost complete control of his The bell at some point or something. You know what I'm talking about? Anyway, this is not <laughs> I don't know. I, that, that movie walked out. It was, it was recent though, right? Uh, the last few years. The session walked Last few years, no. no. But yeah, so there's, I have a lot of those. I'm sorry, I can't give you any too long. Pass. Pass. <laughs> In Harry Potter. <laughs> Do you want to ask me a question? For one of the Tim cards? The Tim cards. <laughs> Let's ask you a question. No pressure. I hope we can ask as well as Alliance. Who plays Scarlett O'Hara in Gone with the Wind? I thought Scarlett O'Hara was the actress's <laughs> name. I thought that was the actress's name. No. <laughs> oh my god. I gosh. think the correct answer is Vivian Lee? No, no, no it's you, Psycho. Kobe Dawson. Oh, you were so close. Kobe Dawson? Kobe Dawson. <laughs> Kobe Dawson. <laughs> she started with Kobe Dawson. Joyce to win. Jo yeah, yeah, Joyce to win. And he was brilliant. Did you say? Yeah. Hi, uh, uh, Vivian Lee. Yeah. What? It, is it was a. We got, we got it. We got it. It's like, oh, I think. 
Right, we, so that's the actual answer? Was Vivian, Vivian Lee is right. Yeah. Wow. Come from behind. I'm terrible at trivia. <laughs> I'm good at like, like silly trivia. They couldn't be like, what's the, yeah, the what? 16th prize in my book? I don't know that. But we're Canada, so it's okay. I, I love it when someone asks an obscure question like that. Though, and you have that answer? Like that's the one <laughs> answer I actually I got you. Know. I'm glad you asked that. But I, the older I get, the more what happens is once, whether I, it doesn't matter whether I know the answer or not, if I'm trying to target that in my brain, it's not there anymore. It's not yeah. somewhere else. My science teacher cousin told me that as you get older, your brain is remapping itself because of the cells that are rotting. That's so great. Part of your brain is rotting, <laughs> and the <laughs> memories are reconfiguring themselves. So you have to refine where you put them. That's my excuse for not knowing the so like Scarlet. So staying up amazing. awake for 48 yeah, hours is probably great for you. fine. <laughs> yes, it's great for you. Just keep practicing. Oh. Okay. So what do you got going on these days? Well... Are you playing any sort of police officer? <laughs> no, no, that was the last 25 years. Um, what have I got going on? I, I, uh, I just finished, uh, uh, actually just aired, uh, uh, a show called Rain, nice. where I played a Roman Catholic thug. Uh, on that show, uh, and I have a, a it's an interesting thing that uh, I'm doing with Amy Jo Johnson coming in the spring. Is that uh, what she she's crowdfunding for? for yeah. Did you see what she did today? No. So if she reached her mark, she's done it on, uh, on Indiegogo. When she re reached her goal, she promised that she would go into Dundas Square and busk with her guitars, That's dressed awesome. as a pink. Oh, uh, nice. And she did it today. <laughs> She's awesome. It was stellar. It was so good. <laughs> and uh, crowds of people. And I was trying to see. It was, <laughs> it was so good. And you know, grown men with Power Rangers scrapbooks. <laughs> it was, I was going, Batman was there, full Batman. Like with the new rubber cowl, not the nice. old, like, vinyl one. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty amazing. Was it like Toronto Batman? I can't your dead guy. Yeah, no, you know that, that guy? Experience. He was wearing, I, I, I was trying to figure out his, his uniform, his, his, uh, his, the bottom part was certainly uh, motorcycle. <laughs> yeah, and he had a, He's he had a cod lot. piece of some sort. It didn't look like it would do any good. But <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was prominent and noticeable. He showed up. He yeah, showed up. He did, he did. That's, a, that's awesome that she did that. And there was, you know, a guy, a guy, people were taking photos, and a guy came beside her, and I, she said, sure, and he put his arm around her, and then opened his shirt up, oh. and his shirt said, I'd hit that. <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah, so there's a lot of class. Lot of, there's uh, a lot of class in Toronto. <laughs> Especially if young and done yeah. But she hit the goal that day. Oh, right? no, it's amazing. It's amazing. So, yeah, that's a, a, a movie we're doing in, uh, in the spring um, called space between yes um, uh, that's another looking forward to that it also starts uh sonia salome that's uh, saloma i've been pronouncing her name salome you know sonia salome she's a very very recognizable face um and <laughs> just uh, difficult to say name <laughs> yes i i thought it was salome for i never tried anything different hey, i just thought it's salome right? i said it's confidence and saloma um and then uh david Paco also Uh, and uh, we're currently in the middle. I've got like so many things happening, and trying to hold on to my, you know, I just told you how my brain is rotting. <laughs> it feels like things are falling. One thing's going in the tube, and things are falling out the other end. But I, I, so my wife uh, is Brazilian. Her family's in Brazil, and we're going to spend six weeks there, starting in two weeks. Nice. And then we're going to be living in the States uh, for the cold brown winter of Toronto. <laughs> uh, um, and we've just decided to rent a flat. So we have to move out in a week and a half. Uh, but you're not leaving for two weeks? Well, no, we're not. You can stay here at the age of comments. Can we? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask, did you? Did you Lindsay guys, making promises. Do they, know, do they know you're here? Yeah, oh, they know yeah. Where they do? Okay. They don't know you asked. The, the we, lights. We just came in and set up. Who are those guys? So far, so good. That's that's awesome. That's like gonna. Uh, yeah, it's 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 pretty fun. It's gonna be a great time. We've never spent this much time away doing winter, so. Yeah. I, 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 
<laughs> that alone would be, yeah. I was just saying to somebody that DNA in us that said, the thing that's in our DNA that says, which is great, it's gone from me. I <laughs> hear it just beat really it there. out of me. Yeah. yeah. I think it's different. Yeah. Being in, in Toronto in the streets. Just slush. Yeah. yeah. Slush. It's salty. Nothing. Everything, all your, your shoes and boots and pant legs get all wrecked. Yeah. If you go to Brazil, though, you could probably become a cop there, too. Yeah. It'd probably just be like, you know. <laughs> you <laughs> Brazilian cop. <laughs> yeah. We got some fans, yeah. apparently. Yes. A Brazilian cop? <laughs> well, a Brazilian cop. <laughs> really? Best kind. They're the best kind. How obscure. It's really like they're white with Brazil a beard. Is my song, by the way. All you have to be is tall and they give you a uniform? Why not? Wow. He's like 25 I was wondering what I was going to do there for 60 years. I'm just speaking for an entire nation. You're absolutely right. This was not training for the roles you play. This is for the role coming up, a Brazilian cop. You're absolutely right. Whether it's my family. I think being a cop there is different than being a cop. Yeah. There might be more bribery. You have that. Yeah. You can score more. Did you ever know that David Paco actually thwarted uh, a uh, crime once when we were in Really? Did he? Yeah, and he used, I, I'm, I may be uh, changing the story, but I, I believe he used the put the gun down. Nice. But he substituted gun, or purse for gun. So he used it. Put the purse down! Put the purse down! The guy had mugged the woman and was running off with her purse, and David chased him in the street. Wow. You put the purse down. <laughs> he got terrified and dropped it because he used his cop voice. <laughs> was he like, no, he wasn't. Oh, no, no, no. He was getting ready to go to work. He's probably well cut off shorts and flip flops. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, you see that square job bearing down on you. You drop that purse. <laughs> I drop it anyway. I'm not really a purse girl. Yeah, no. <laughs> Even this if you stole it from Why did you steal it from him in the first place? Why did you steal it from him in the first place? Are you sure? <laughs> Did you steal the purse that just no. you just did No, I had my purse stolen. No. Same thing. Buy a Brazilian cup. Yeah. <laughs> so now it's payback. The stories are in Yeah. Quite well. Quite well. You're doing such a good job. I think so. I'll give you another job opportunity. Potentially. Yeah, I'm going to look into that. Can I have a chip? Yes. yes. Wait, wait, wait. What flavor is it? It looks like salt and vinegar. It is. I have no sample effects, so I just did that. I thought it was playing when I ate it, and I kind of was pleasantly surprised. I thought it was playing too, and then I was like, yeah. Oh, you both? I get it. Oh, it's not going to be Can you just eat one? Uh, Could you chew closer to the microphone? <laughs> <laughs> it's just weird. This can get off of the beard. You eat your Kobe beard, you know? I don't like, I don't like <laughs> eating on camera. As you that, for one thing. You're breaking all your rules. When I eat on camera, I tend to not let my teeth hit each other. I eat like this. Instead of like this. It's natural. I'm just going to gum it. Sort of pulling That's the curtain funny. back on the process. And when I eat meals, and like, it's like I don't want to wolf it down. I'll eat it very quietly. The second I leave, I'm like, oh, okay, like, eat it. Like, you don't want to get, like, look like, a, like an animal. The second I leave, you're an animal. Yeah. You're an animal. yeah. Unless it's like popcorn in a movie theater, because for some reason I just like turn into a rabbit's bean. Yeah. I'm cool that you. It's like all over me. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And you get it down there and yeah. down the back. And, yeah, totally. You got a good beard that would like have good rib sauce. Oh, in it, you dude, know? eating corn and butter? <laughs> I carry that with me for days. Like, if I don't take a proper wash on my beard, my wife will be like, don't kiss me. Smell like. Dinner two days ago. <laughs> Up here, gets in here. I cleaned it for you guys. <laughs> did you hurt now? I did. Of course I did. What do you mean did I? No, I'm kidding. What do you mean? Add some mystery. I had it for reasons, so I can't remember. You're like, I'm, I'm sick right now, but I smell great. My beard is luminescent. <laughs> ask, uh, ask us one more question. On the, On the trivia? Okay. After I have. You have a question? After, after I failed this test. <laughs> we, hey, we got it together last time. Yeah, you got it together. Hey. We're carrying the team since we met. Yeah, our alliance, okay. <laughs> I think we should have gone with the first one, but here we go. In the romantic comedy, 50 first dates. Oh, I know this. 
What is wrong? I'm a Drew Barrymore's character, Lucy. She has She sure does. Well, short term memory. I watched I might have known that. Hey, look, I know you did. I was at a right turn, but yeah, no, Rob. Bye. So what? You got a question? Yeah, I've been dying to ask. What is that? What is that thing called? Is it sporin? It's S P O R R A. Sporin. It is sporin. Okay. You want to come show it? Like you know, just should we? Should we introduce it? Go show your notes. Go show the first. Go. This is actually first time. We're going to win. That's what I've been trying to do. Kill. Kill. See the kill. Which is basically a man first. It is. It's cold winter. Did you rent it? It's a cold winter. You can get the same effect just by undoing the stitches in the bottom of your jeans.